Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of digital and social media marketing. Today's topic is the modern digital consumer. In this video, I'll be telling you what do you mean by modern digital consumer? What are the various characteristics via which you can understand what are the requirements of modern digital consumer? Let us begin. First, all of you must be agreed that nowadays, whatever the consumer is, so each and every consumer is more connected if we compare in comparison to the earlier days. Nowadays, every one of us are very much connected with various medias, various devices, right? It means you can understand, suppose you are carrying a single device or if you are keeping a single device in your pocket, then uh, you can understand how you how what is the utility of that particular device means with the help of that device you can review the products you can check the price you can review the content you can review the like reviews uh, you can compare prices you can share purchase or sometimes you can request coupons and even if required what we used to do when we are going uh, when we are going to explore something when we have to buy something some product we used to uh, go in some particular shop at the same time when we are observing the details and that particular salesman is briefing us about each and every feature and the best possible deal we used to review it we used to identify what are the price uh, available on the online means while standing in a store we can review the products online so you can understand how much useful that particular device is right it means mobile connectivity has empowered every consumer and because of the mobile consumers can shop in various different ways via which they are like uh, feeling uh, comfortable right there are various uh, websites there are various applications just via that uh, consumers can do the shopping it means mobile connectivity has created a revolution and it opens the door for the retailers also via which they can connect their customers customers can uh, give the uh, reviews about the product customers can give the reviews about their services it means with the help of the mobile connectivity the customers and retailers have a good reputation in between means there is a 360 degree feedback the customers can uh, get the purposefully they can connect it sometimes more personalized interaction can be done sometimes more personalized deals can be offered to the customers as per the report it has been estimated that 57 percent of the buying process is almost completed before the sale is contracted it means you can just think about a consumer going to buy a mobile in a like mall and when the sales representative is trying to give and push the consumer to purchase that particular product just by briefing the every feature giving the best detail right so what we used to do means before entering the store we have done the entire homework right we have observed what are the best price being offered on the amazon flipkart ebay etc it means when the customer is reaching the brand social the customer is already aware about the product reviews the customer has com done the comparison of the prices and more it means you see now you can imagine how much the homework has been done by the customer this is what this is the digital consumer modern digital consumer is now let us talk about the various characteristics of the modern digital consumer so the characteristics of the modern digital consumers have been listed in seven different categories over here so here you can observe the seven characteristics of modern digital consumers have been listed out let us discuss one by one first if we talk about the around the clock shopping what do you mean by this it means the expectation of the customer is nowadays to uh, like consumer to do the shopping 24 by 7 depending upon our convenience we used to do the shopping in the morning or in the late evening right it means when consumption can take place at any time in the day it means the retailers have to address all those challenges 
means retailers have to be ready to offer the services to offer the products 24 by 7 and sometimes they have to address the nonsense and all the requirements of the varied customers because the requirements of customer may vary throughout the day so accordingly as per the report which have been published by the singleton he has like demonstrated that the internet of things iot is capable enough to compound this issue means around the clock shopping issue in the coming years because what is the challenge the challenge uh, for the retailers is to address the expectations of each and every customer in a conceivable platform second important characteristics is consumers are in control in today's era if we talk about the customers if we talk about ourselves when we have to purchase anything means we are in much more control of our shopping experience because we know what we want right and accordingly we used to do the shopping it means nowadays the consumer have the various means via which they can explore they can research and they can share every purchase decision. If I am going to buy something and I have shortlisted something, so I can share that particular product details with my family members and friends and they can also advise me. They can also suggest me. And the overall process, this is very quick. It means for the retailers, it is very much required to attract the customer, to provide all the required services to the customer. Because once... A customer is not uh, going to buy that particular product. It doesn't mean that the customer, the retailer is losing that particular customer for that time also. Means it may be for the long time. If I'm not uh, satisfied with the like services or the uh, like proverb, if I'm buying something from the Amazon and if I'm not uh, was, uh, like uh, satisfied with the services of the Amazon. So I may not be buying long time from the Amazon. It means the retailers means they have to be very much responsive of the requirements of the customers immediately instead of just engaging them and instead of just like floating all those kinds of challenges and it means here the important point is balancing act and this balancing act is the biggest challenge nowadays. Next important point is the omni-channel shopping. Omni-channel shopping means nowadays it doesn't matter no matter from where we are shopping means the consumer is consumer it means we have to break down the barriers between the channels we need, there is a requirement to empower the consumer in a uniform way consumers must be engaged in the same way on uh, the website of the retailer as uh, there is a uh, like uh, uh, what is being happening when the consumer is uh, moving to any store there is a like a shopkeeper or the salesman, they used to engage the customer. So the same kind of treatment, same, the same kind of services needs to be provided. It means omni-channel shopping, this is a method, this is the combination of the advantage of in-store shopping plus online delivery. So this is the integration mode. Next important characteristic is the content consumer. See, Content has a major influence on how customer is behaving because uh, we would like to see that particular thing. We would like to see that product or services or the content which appeals. It means the customers are branching out accordingly in the different different uh, like uh, branches you can say. It means the customers have a close relationship. It must have a good reputation along with the retailers means retailers must understand what is the customer's requirement what they are going to buy so which kind of content is to be provided to the consumers next point is global experience global experience means we need to understand the customer needs wherever the customer are it means it is truly global economy customers may be from the globe itself so Accordingly, we have to understand what is the requirement of the customers. Next important point is the collaborators. Collaborator means there is a, a like we can do a lot more collaboration and sharing of the information and these collaboration and information sharing can influence consumer decision in comparison to the 
offline experience what happens if i am buying something and i am sharing that particular product uh, reviews with the others others can also advise me it means the sharing of information and collaboration how it is going to impact my decision right that is why the collaborators it is very important means there is a definitely use of some device the customer must be doing to check out and share the new products to see if something uh, is going to complement uh, like what is my requirement or something is going to complement or validate my decision like so that is how it is going to impact and the last seventh characteristic which is about the social share see all of you must be agreeing the relevance of social media on retail nowadays it has increased a lot it has grown very grows very rapidly right means we can uh, review the product services on the different websites on different social medias even we can have various online groups uh, like whatsapp and other groups uh, to give the feedback on ideas and sometimes what happens Uh, if there is a requirement to launch any product or any services so initially some of the things can be offered and accordingly the like feedback can be given which is a kind of survey survey suppose you are going to launch any particular product and if you would like to take the uh, like reviews about the colors so what you are going to do before investing time and money to create different different colors and then launching it into the market you can do a survey via the social media you can take the uh, feedback from the like consumers and accordingly you can do it so this type of feedback mechanism was not existed in earlier time but nowadays it is available so now you can understand how much important the social shares is to uh, take the ideas from others what you are going to offer and if you have offered something what is the reaction of the consumers so these are the seven characteristics now i am uh, hoping that all of you must be able to define it thank you so much for watching this video